What's up guys, we got a question from one of our buddies here who says he wants to know how to become more alpha and he even uses the term frequencies to describe what he receives from me when he watches these videos and he's decided to describe me as alpha energy and frequency. And then he also goes on to describe someone like Russell Brand who uh, in many ways seems completely opposite of Elliot Hulse and when he says this he means physically because he's in a situation now where he's amongst uh, new people in a new school and uh, he thinks that in order to become alpha he might need to build his body up or become more aggressive and loud but then at the same time he sees people who emit sort of alpha frequency but they're not big and aggressive and loud um, and in fact when you watch me sometimes I'm big aggressive and loud and sometimes I'm contemplative and soft and slow right but yet this alpha frequency seems to come out. And, uh, and I'm going to preface this by saying, look, there are so many people that use this word completely wrong and that their associations with what alpha actually means is completely skewed by their own ego identification and what uh, movies and TV have told them about alpha. And these gentlemen who go around talking about alpha and being alpha as fuck and, and you're alpha and, uh, and he's beta really don't understand anything and their very activity associated with pointing out alpha and calling themselves alpha is actually very beta. And I'll tell you what I mean literally by talking about frequencies in a moment. So the interesting thing, if you take a look, you could just Google it and look up the, the picture of what frequencies look like. You've got a beta frequency. Beta frequencies are very fast. So in, it, the way you describe a frequency is within a you know span of time, you know, you go like this and then you see how many pitches and troughs there are within that span of time. So beta, you're going to have a lot of them. That's a very active. Very active is beta. And oftentimes a lot of those guys who think they're alpha because they're so active, they're right? They're, they're, they're ungrounded. Being ungrounded because there's so much stimulation in the consciousness is very beta. Beta doesn't necessarily look like quiet. Now if you're quiet but the activity in your mind is racing because you're neurotic, now that's beta frequencies being emitted. That's beta frequencies that you're engaging in there. It's, it's this over aggressive, really, it's an over aggression of thinking and consciousness. Your energy is too much. That's really beta. Theta, if you just look, is within that span of time there's big gaps, there's big spaces in between, right? So theta is like calm, relaxed meditation, almost, you know, when you're at, you're getting ready to go to bed at night, you know, and you're maybe reading a book or even meditating and sitting and, you know, before you're ready to relax and chill the fuck out. Very tender. First one, very aggressive. The other one, very tender. Now, that's why I love that term, tender aggression, because it's just so poetic and beautiful in this particular way. The alpha frequency is in between, right? If you, like I said, just take a look. The alpha frequency isn't as aggressive as these fools who've come to believe that alpha is some sort of aggression. And it's not so laid back that it's, uh, it's not stimulated by the environment because it's yawning and getting ready to go in. It is a tenderness, meaning calm, relaxed, focused, grounded, confidence in yourself, along with a highly stimulated nervous system that allows you to act and speak appropriately, appropriately at the appropriate time. Right? See, I can't even do it. Appropriately at the appropriate time. So you're, you're tender, soft, relaxed, flowing, yin, dark, cold, female. Right? There's an element of femininity to the alpha. Don't forget that. Make a meme about that one. There's a significant element of femininity present in the alpha male, in the alpha frequency. Russell Brand, it just, it, you can could, could see it right away. Very feminine ways. Me? If you watch me closely, there are some feminine ways. Now, I'm not comparing either of us to Jesus, right? Didn't he have that one called the Messiah Complex? But just look at how Jesus is depicted by the best artists, European, of course, because we don't know, you know what his color skin was. Why does such a king look like such a woman? Jesus looked like a woman half the times. And if you look at a, the depiction of a lot of our teachers, our most alpha men, 
they kind of, especially if they're depicted uh, in art, are depicted kind of like uh, ambiguous, like they're between, they're hermaphrodites. They're like, they're men and they're female, right? Because there's a significant portion of feminine yin energy, tender energy associated with the balanced alpha frequency. The theta is overly aggressive. So you've got on one hand a premature ejaculator, on the other hand, can't get it up. And in between is the alpha energy, brother. Tender aggression, I've made videos specifically about tender aggression, but I'm gonna give you a few words of wisdom and practical tips to support you on your way to true alphahood, my friend. Okay? Ideologically, in your head, because the stories we tell are very important about what happens in our body and how we allow ourselves to yield into the processes, the spontaneous processes in the body. And that's what the two energies are. Head energy is very aggressive. Body energy is very tender. Body energy is very yielding. It's very obvious because the heart yields to the stimulation of the mind, right? Right? It, it absorbs. The body absorbs what comes up up here. So if I go, ah! and your heart rate goes up, that means you are absorbing energy into your body. And it takes action on its own, completely free from the processes of the head brain. So telling stories is one part of the, st one part of the deal. Telling stories. And that's what all of our information is, I hope you understand, even science, religion, fairy tales, motivational videos. They're stories. They're stimulation of the conscious mind to produce a particular result that we like, which is oftentimes very aggressive, very yang. The other half is going to be in your body. So I'm going to talk to you about stories. I'm going to talk to you about how to breathe into your balls, motherfucker, because that's the missing key for 99% of you beta bitches out there who think you're alpha because you're so loud and big. The story you're going to have to tell yourself is that you're good enough because confidence is absolutely everything when it comes to emitting and living in alpha frequencies. The reason why confidence is so important, and this needs to be written down also, it's not confidence in the face of other people. Very important, when I say confidence, it's not even confidence in the face of circumstances that are threatening. It's not outward confidence. Confidence is the confidence in yourself to let go into the yin energy, the spontaneity of your body. You've got to be confident enough to trust everything going on from head to toe. I trust my body. That's why I look so confident. I'm not confident in your face. Not at first. I'm not confident in the face of adversity and challenges. Not at first. But you know what I do? I go, And I let go of all attachment and desires and fears and wanting to control. And I say, I trust you, body. I trust you, spontaneity. I trust you, unconscious. I trust you, the intelligence that guides me, meaning God. I trust everything that moves through me and everything that happens in me. Do you understand? Now I might come back up to the mind and I might, my head brain, and I might begin to analyze what's going on in my body. If I'm not breathing properly in the face of an adverse situation, that means I've got to trust that there's something going on. I look at my body and I say, ooh, I'm not breathing right. What's making me uncomfortable? I have to either start have that conversation at the moment with those other people or circumstances, or I got to put that one away for later. Later, I gotta figure out what the fuck was going on there, man. Why was your why were your nuts all sucked up and your asshole tight? Come on, E. What was that? What was it about that person or that circumstance that made you lose your confidence in your body? But in that moment, the very first thing you do, my man, is breathe. Breathing is the stimulation, both energetically and physically, of the intelligence in your unconscious and in your body, in your viscera. Trust it, trust yourself.
When people say trust yourself, they think it means trust the stories, but it goes deeper. Trust what's going on down in here, brother. I trust my gut, I trust my heart. Do you see? Sometimes my head doesn't even trust my heart and gut and I do things. I do things and my head's like, oh boy, don't do it. But you know who's more intelligent? My heart and my gut. I know they're more intelligent because they're tapped into something that the head doesn't always see. Become alpha, my friend, but don't look outside to compare yourself to what that possibly means because the world's idea of alpha is completely neurotic. It's an abstraction. And in fact, those who have been calling themselves alpha are living in a sea of beta. Breathe into your balls. Stimulate. This is a beautiful one. I almost finished it, but I have to give you this one. True alpha is a man and woman who balances the intelligence in his balls. He has three sets of balls, mind you. Your eyeballs, trust them. Trust your linear processing, your analytical processing. It's good, but in balance, if he doesn't trust the balls between his legs, your gut instincts, feelings. I'll tie the heart to that one also. Trust your balls between your legs, dude. Grab them. And if they're too hot to grab them because you, you're too much of a, uh, a beta bitch, right? I say beta bitch, it just rolls off the tongue. If you're so beta that your balls are hot, cool them off. Shake them off. Take off your little panties, your tight little tighty whitey panties. And, and let your balls just, let a fan blow on them balls. They're physically too hot. Get in touch with the intelligence of your balls. And finally, Stay on the balls of your feet, dude. Remain grounded, practical, pragmatic, immovable, but also agile. Done.